Hi there, it's Sandy Alnock and it's World Card Making Day. So I wanted to share something a little bit fun with you, which is a challenge. I have created three sketches and I'll show you how I made these sketches from the cards that I created in this video. And if you use one of my sketches today in making a card and uploading it, then you will get entered in for a prize. There's more information about the prize over on the blog. So you can click over there on the link in the doobly-doo to get more info. Art Impressions sent me this cute little stamp set and that's what I decided to use for today's project with anteaters in them. Oh my gosh, I just love that they do such unique animals. And these are mostly birthday sentiments in these. So if you need birthday cards, that is particularly helpful. But these are the colors that I use. There's a picture of that as always on the blog. And I'm gonna do some quick coloring and chat at you while I am doing my coloring. Because each of these images I stamped onto some cream Nina cardstock and then I just put them randomly in the center of it. I was going to trim them out because I wanted to use them to create sketches. I know a lot of people love to use card sketches and that is certainly something that for inexperienced card makers or stumped card makers, those are great to use. But I want to give you an idea on how you can use the supplies you have for your own card making to kind of create your own card sketches. And I don't mean the graphical creation thereof, like, you know, making the JPEGs and posting them and that sort of thing. What I mean is creating the design elements and how to look at the supplies that you already have in your studio or in your craft space or whatever place you work in to create something wonderful. Because I don't have pattern paper, but I actually created some designs that could be easily used with pattern paper and then made cards out of them and I created sketches for you to download and use. And that is what you can use for today's challenge. If you're watching this at another time and it's not World Card Making Day 2019, then I'm sorry about that. You certainly are welcome to go get grab the sketches and use them anyway. But these cute little anteaters are just hilarious. They're having so much fun. I looked up a bunch of stuff about anteaters and I found out that anteaters and aardvarks are not the same thing. I used to love the segment from the Pink Panther that had the ant and the aardvark. And I just always thought that was an anteater. I just thought that was just a different name for them, but it's not. So if you look up scientific information on the interwebs, you find out all kinds of things that you didn't know. But anteaters come in all different kinds of colorations, different stripes, and they have these really cool funky tails. And I'm actually thinking about trying to draw one because their tails are so fluffy. They're way longer than the ones that are drawn here, but I can see why they kind of made them smaller because it would take up half the card to have the tail on it. They, it's like a giant broom on the back. It's huge. You gotta go look, at them, look them up because they're really funny. But anyway, as I was doing my coloring and thinking through how to approach this, I am going to cut out each one of these in a different shape. And then I have all these scraps. And I don't know if you're a scrap keeper. I'm somewhat of a scrap keeper, but only with solids because I use them for sentiments and that kind of stuff. I don't have any pattern paper in my house. I literally have zero. I was looking for some to make this video and I couldn't find any. That is how much I don't use pattern paper. So I used solids and I got out three different card bases and I laid my images on them with a layer attached to each one of them. So I had one as a circle, one as a square-ish, and one as more of a rectangle. And I just started trading them around on the different card bases just to see which one I liked better. Was there one that I thought was gonna work in a different way? And I didn't go anything down yet. I just wanted to see how they were each gonna play out on the different card bases. And then I got out all of my little scraps. I have like this whole giant stack of small, like long skinny types of scraps. And like I said, they're for sentiments. And I just started putting two of them here, one of them there, cutting them to different sizes, and then laying them out and seeing which ones I liked. And once I got kind of three formats that I liked, I started gluing them down. So at least something was straight. And then I started trading the images around again to see which one was gonna work better on which one. And every single time it gives you a whole different design for the card. I started realizing I wanted to add black layers on the two rectangular images because that just made them pop more. 
And then I wanted to put ants in the pictures because they're anteaters and they all need to have ants. Only one of the stamps has an actual ant on the nose of the anteater. There are some ants that are carrying birthday cakes and things that you can use as well. But I wanted to make sure there were ants. So when I send this to someone, they know it's an anteater because it's not a very common animal. If you would like to participate in my little sketch challenge today, you can make a card using any of the three sketches that are over on my blog and upload them to your blog, to your Instagram, your Facebook, wherever, and just make sure I get well tagged in it. And tagging me by putting a link in the comments would be especially wonderful, but you can also tag me on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, all that good stuff. And I would love to see what you're making. And maybe I'll do a big recap when it's all done and post like pictures of all of them or something. I don't know what I'm going to do. It depends on how many participate. If it gets too overwhelming, my brain might shut down. But I want to uh, be making cards alongside of you. So please go join in on my World Card Making Day Challenge. I also want to let you know that the 100,000 subscriber giveaway thing is still open. There's a link at the end of this video to that video. So if you have not participated yet and you would like to make a submission to qualify for one of the amazing prizes that are going to be in that one, then please go watch that video. And I will see you again very soon because next week I have an onslaught of videos coming. It's going to be scene week. We're going to do holiday scenes all week long. So be prepared for lots and lots of videos to come. I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.